Hello everyone and thanks for joining us on Encore coming up on today's show. Triple threat comedian Rashid Badudi pulls out all the stops to hit the punchline. Dancing, acting and even channeling Beethoven to bring a sketch to life. The International Comedy Festival Just for Laughs put the Canadian funny man on the map. From there he fronted the stand-up spectacle Arrête ton cinéma, spreading laughs from Quebec to Paris. Well, the showman has upped the ante once again with Badouri Recharged, a one-man show. Rashid Vaduri, welcome. Did I say your name right? You did it. Uh, actually, you're one of the rare pe people that could uh, pronounce my name pretty well. How do people mangle it? Well, I don't know if I can say it on TV, but I got rat <laughs> once. Oh, God. <laughs> I got hashish once. Really? <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I got a lot of these. Well, I'm glad I got it. Being of, of Lebanese ancestry, exactly. This is I why you got it so right. Got yep. it right. But you were born and raised in Montreal, but you're of Moroccan Berber ancestry. Now, yep. a telltale sign of that actually is your extraordinary ability to ululate. <laughs> Better than a jidda on a wedding day, I could say. <laughs> we call it ali li li li. Can you yeah. show us how it I how it works? I do not know if I do it perfectly, but thanks for the compliment. You're pretty uh, good. There's many ways to do it. There's the regular one, which is la -la 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 -la. and then at the end, I don't know why they do that, but they always go into like a, a li -li -li. <laughs> very good, very good. But you know how to do it too. Uh, no, I'm it's not in your blood. You should do it. <laughs> How's there we that? go. No, I need Perfect. to practice. I need it to practice. It sounded more kangaroo than then. Well, that's right. That's the Australian <laughs> in me. I know. That's why I'm bugging you. Now, yeah. before you got into comedy, yep. you worked for an airline. Mm -hmm. Now that joke just writes itself yeah. really i've heard that it can be hard enough for you to get through customs let alone it regulate was them. it was it was but thank god i stopped before uh, september 11 because then uh, you know it was uh, <laughs> it was gonna be a harder time for me but it, 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 the, the, the thing that i've i've heard a lot of comedians doing jokes on the uh on airplanes inside the airplane on the airplane and stuff like that but they never i never heard jokes from the other side from the flight attendant point of view and this is what i was doing because there's a lot of crazy things you see on the on an airplane when you work uh, as a flight attendant for five years, I've seen so many things. So, uh, so for me, it was a, it was the best way to, to write a skit about it, and I did in my first show. So you used it for research. Of course. Well, your parents must have been a little bit freaked out when you <laughs> left a so-called real job yeah. for one in entertainment. What did they have? To but say? you know how it is, being from a Lebanese background. Exactly. That's it, why I'm you, 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 you have three choices with your parents: either you become a doctor, a lawyer, or both. Right? So pharmacist also. <laughs> a well pharmacist received. as well, exactly. Engineer, exactly. not too bad. So imagine telling them you're quitting school. Not school, but I mean, I was already in college, and I was like, you know what? I'm I'm quitting everything, not to become a flight attendant anymore or anything like that. I'm becoming a comedian. My mom didn't like it, didn't appreciate it. My, my dad thought it was the only job that I could do forever for the rest of my life because it's, it's, it's haunting you every day. When you, when you have a need to make people laugh and entertain people all day long, if you don't do that as a job, it will haunt you for the rest of your life and you will live with regrets. So my father said, you know what? Even if he becomes a brain surgeon, he's not going to be happy. Let him be a clown. Let him be paid for this. And... You know what? Let him be happy. And he kind of approved it. Well, thank you, Baba Baduri. <laughs> Muhammad. Muhammad Baduri. <laughs> and uh, he actually has taken uh, center stage as, yes. as, a, as a, the uh, inspiration for some of your <laughs> yeah. skits. We're yeah. going to take a look All at right. you in action. Let's do that. I got a very funny, funny dad. My English is not perfect, but his English is bad. You know why? He's too proud to ask when he doesn't know a word. He's just going to make up a word, you know? One day I was testing him. I was like, Dad. How do you say to someone in English to come to you? It's easy. I tell him, hey, come here. Come here. All right. How do you tell him to go over there? I go over there and I say, hey, come here. <laughs> Shut up your face. <laughs> Shut up your face in front of everybody in the restaurant. Madam, I'm still waiting for my cesarean salad. How long? How long, Sharmota? How long do I have to wait for? Changing track a little bit, you also use your comedy to turn pain into power. Yeah. Uh, especially when it came to the passing of, yes. of your mother. Mm -hmm. How did comedy help you deal with such a, such a loss? Well, I don't know what I was doing when I wrote this number, but I just knew I had to do something about it because this was going, it was, it was eating me alive. Do you know uh, that I never been to my, uh, my father's house where my mother was ex actually before she passed away? for at least four years after she passed. I was picking up my, my dad at the corner of the street. And he's like, when are you gonna come to the house? I said, I can't. 
as soon as I smell something from her, or I, something reminds me of her, I just can't do it. When I wrote this thing, I said, this is the best way, the best way to heal maybe is to talk about it. So I was kind of selfish because I was making people pay to come and see my therapy, you know, <laughs> talking about my mom. But then as soon as I started doing it, for the, uh, maybe a few days after I started doing that thing on stage, talking about my mom and how she passed away and everything, I got some, so many comments, so many uh, comments on Facebook and Twitter and saying, do you know how much it helped me listening to you, watching you on stage, talking about your mom, saying, hey, you did it. So now I know that I'm, li I'm, I'm living what you've lived five years ago and I know there's hope. So I was like, oh my God, this thing that I turned into my therapy, being a selfish that I was, now is helping other people. You were able to channel that into something I had to. constructive. Yeah, and, and, it, and it did. And, and I'm not taking any credit because I didn't do it to help other people. It's not what I did. It turned out to be something that helps other people. But this was my first goal. But when I found out that it did help people, then I took it and I was like, wow, I embraced it. But it wasn't my first goal. It was to help me <laughs> to get over this. Now, during your stage shows, uh, one thing that, that, that's very striking is the fact that they're, that they're uh, very thoughtfully staged. Mm -hmm. uh, you're a triple threat, uh, you sing, you dance. I like the way you, you say triple threat. You play piano. Yeah. I mean, you're just a few jazz hands away from Broadway, really. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Where did you get your moves? Uh, my moves, like the dance moves. Yeah, uh, your moves, your your energy. Honestly, your I never flair took a, on stage. I never, I never took a dance class ever. Uh, I just learned it amongst friends because back when I was uh, a kid, <laughs> I I all my 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 my, uh, my background, my friends' background was was from every country of the world, every part of the world. Like I said, I grew up with Italians, Lebanese, Syrians, Armenians, and I grew up with a lot of Latinos as well, and they taught me how to dance right away in parties because right away when they were inviting me somewhere if you don't know how either speak the language or dance the dance they're dancing you're 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 an outcast and I don't want to be an outcast so right away I, I taught myself how to dance right away and I, I met a girl that became my friend and she taught me a couple of moves and same thing with hip-hop I used to hang out with a lot of people that used to love rap music Haitian people and then and they taught me how to dance and and it just followed me all you know it, it became a passion as well but uh, I had to you know teach myself how to do these things. Did you also teach yourself how to play the piano? Yes, I did, with YouTube. <laughs> with YouTube, well, we're gonna take a look at that now. Here's Rashid as Beethoven. <laughs> You're quick on your feet, Rashid. So we're going to play a little improv game with you. Okay. Charades. You've got the cards there. Okay. What do I you're do? You're the master. I'm going to try to guess what you're holding. You've okay. got to let me know. Okay. With clues, Using right? your words. Yes, using oh some clues. Oh, my God. Uh, I was born there. Montreal? Canada? Almost. Between them, there's a... Uh... Quebec? Yes. Oh, <laughs> oh you're smart. And... Um... You see them every day for the past four years. Croissants. Uh, they're people. M more clue. More clues. <laughs> more clues. Uh, they're, they, 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 they're from this city. What kind of... What, more clues. Uh, uh, baguette. <laughs> Parisians. Yes. Parisians. Yeah, exactly. I've got it. Did she Parisians? Did, I did. Oh, okay, perfect. Yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you. <laughs> You're good. Thank you. You didn't Your see the answers before? Be... I didn't see them before oh, at all. And Jenny, my producer, was not whispering them to not me all. in my ear at all. all right. No, not at all. <laughs> Thanks for not cheating, Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> right now you're touring uh, Badoui Richargé. Yeah. Uh, with dates across France and Belgium and Switzerland. Of course. What are we plugging into? Between the two shows, the first one that I wrote and the second one, a lot of things happen, like the passing of my mom, my dear mom. Um, 
a lot of things changed my my eating habits, my uh, training habits. My I got married. Uh, Congratulations! Thank you so much for this beautiful, beautiful like you see her Syrian woman. Oh, <laughs> very lucky man you are. Yes, I say hi to her. I don't know if she sees me right now, but uh, uh, she's, her name is Julie. Hello, Julie. Julie Shout out to Julie. Julie Khawam. Shout out to Julie Khawam. <laughs> and uh, and that's it. So um, a lot of things happen, and and I was so. Recharge, recharge of these anecdotes, stories that I had to tell people because it, it was the more it was between those shows maybe five years past and it was the most busiest five years of my life and I had to tell my fans about it and this is what happens in this show. Well, it's and good to have you back, energized, better than ever, with a new lease on. Thank you, and life. I was I was glad to meet you. You're an amazing woman. I'm Thank glad to you. meet you. And that's all we have time for. Thanks everyone for watching. Catch Baduri Richage when it hits a city near you. And if you've never been to Colombia, you haven't been. Or... I haven't been to Colombia, but I'd love to go there. Well, we've got it covered for you. The Encore team is joining in on France 24 Spanish Channel launch, shooting two special shows from Colombia. We'll leave you now with a little taste of one of those filmed in Medellin. He's our culture editor, Eve Jackson, showing off her twinkle toes alongside some incredible young dancers. Remember our website, say hello on social media. There's more news coming up at France 24 right after this.